Hello everyone and welcome to the Engage UK channel and the first video of 2012. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Hope everyone had a good holiday period. Um, and you were able to have a bit of holiday time, a bit of time to do some modelling. We're back again and we're going to start this year with a review. Brand new Dapol packaging. Kind of gives it away a little bit. It's a Dapol Class 26 in a rail freight, a red stripe grey livery with the Scotty Dog emblem. The item number of this is ND145C. Um, this has been released, uh, I believe, in four variants now uh, blue with yellow ends, uh, BR green, uh, this rail freight red stripe and a uh, rail freight coal sector livery as well. They are also doing a two uh, locomotive um, box set of uh, a powered and a dummy green um, locomotive as a special edition. So that one's also going to be available quite soon. Uh, a little bit about the history of this one. Well, it's um, a late 50s locomotive, I believe. Uh, quite a number were built, they were originally uh, based around North London, Hornsey for quite a while and uh, I believe and then it was uh, Finchbury Park but then a whole batch of them were sent up to Scotland and we used um, up there around the Edinburgh area. So it's quite a widely, widely travelled locomotive. The model itself has quite a number of special features, it is a Dapple Platinum release. Um, I'm going to list those for you. Um, packaging to start with. Uh, usual good Dapol packaging. Hard case. This nice new um, royal blue they're using now. Taking the sleeve off. We first come across the instructions, as usual. Tell you about oiling before use, which uh, Dapol do recommend. Power types, DCC, etc. It is DCC ready? Proof of purchase and uh, detailed pictures of where to oil. How to fit a chip. It's an NMRA 6516 pin socket, so a standard 6 pin decoder will fit in there and it also advises you to occasionally oil the worm. Uh, the bogies, bogey assemblies can simply be pulled off the bottom apparently. Hmm. Not sure how easy that's going to be. Anyway, let's take the front of this off quite tight plastic case with a plastic sleeve to protect the model and there she is. First impressions in the box. Mm. Lovely detailed model, really <laughs> excellent. Grills, wires on the handrails here, very nicely applied livery, a little Scotty dog. Uh, under frame is extremely nice there. Yeah, got a big pack of parts here. We'll investigate that. Let's take the model out and using the normal uh, Dapple instructions, which are to remove the foam tray and then remove the model from the foam tray. And there she is. Now obviously she's quite a small locomotive, so I'll try and keep my fingers out of the way. First, it, first thing. Hmm, nice bit of weight there for a small loco like this. Um, nice grill detailing at the top and on the side here. The livery is very nicely applied. We've got wire on the door handrails here. Flush glazing by the look of it. Mm, very nice end detailing. Fine windscreen wipers. Hook there for some of the detailed parts. 
and these are NEM coupler pockets so they can be replaced on the frame yep some nice detailing here the bogey side frames are very nicely detailed as well roof yep excellent very accurately moulded um, there's a little bit of depth to the grill but mostly mould yeah, very impressed with that. Let's have a quick look at that pack of detailing. Wow, there are a lot of pieces in here. There are, as usual with that old, there's the short and long uh, knuckle couplers, the snow plows, there are back pipes, there are dummy hook couplers. Oh, there is just a ton of stuff in here. More than enough to detail both ends. So, uh, good couple of hours work ahead of you there if you want to add all of that detail. The only one thing I would say is it really is a shame they don't give you a diagram of where all those bits go. I think it, it would be would be very useful to, to lots of modelers if, if they did include that. I understand there are such things available. Um, possibly pinging an email off to Dapple might be a good idea if you're unsure of where all those bits go. To actually open it um, to insert the chip, you simply lift the body off, apparently, according to the instructions. So I won't do it right now. Uh, needs to be properly run in on DC before it's chipped. But I'll get my fingers out of the way and put it on the display stand and show you some close-up shots. Well, starting with the end uh, this time. Um, First of all, in terms of shape, now I think it's really well modelled this. Um, they've got them, the curve of the end really nicely, nicely modelled there. You've got uh, working lights in both directions, um, blue-white headlights and obviously red rear lights, two of each. Uh, NEM coupler pockets, uh, currently with Rapidos, but of course you have those short and long knuckle couplers if you want to change those or for any other NEM compatible coupler you want to mount into it. A uh, hook above the Rapido coupler if you want to put the dummy drop couplers on. Uh, some very fine, as I mentioned, uh, windscreen wipers, nicely glazed. Um, looking down slightly on the side, you've got a really nicely applied livery, very sharp detail uh, numbering. Uh, wire handrails here, grill, just pan down the body side, you can see the detail of the underframe here, very nicely done, Scotty Dog, which is not always part of the rail freight um, livery but it has been applied on this one, and there's the other end, swing the other end around, this again I'm afraid is the limit of my zoom on the camera, but I think you can see all the detail there fairly clearly. Yeah, finely detailed all round I think, uh, excellent, excellent model. Uh, and, a, and a smooth runner, I haven't run it in completely, I've just uh, run it back and forth a few times just to check everything's working nicely. Uh, a little bit noisy to start with as most are, but um, it ran very smoothly. I can show you the um, working lights. Just a quick look at how the working lights go. That's forward, here's reverse. I think you can see the red lights there. White forward lights, very nice. That was just with a battery, just for ease. Um, so a lovely, lovely model and um, one of my favorite liveries. I've already got a class 58 in this livery and I was thinking of getting the other second rail freight class 58 they do but this pops along at a good price so i'm not too sure about the other class 58 now since i've got a coal sector one as well definitely worth considering getting one of these if it's your era um really nicely done uh, dapol seem to have been doing a really good high quality of product recently and they, they're stretching out into other areas and it's, as a company i think they're they're really starting to, to impress people with not only their innovation, things like the working semaphore signals, but also just uh, the fact that they're 
the quality of what they're doing at the moment. So um, another quality release from them. Um, and uh, it's good to see one of these smaller companies, well, I call them smaller, but, uh, you know, um, challenging the likes of Hornby and Barkman. Uh, all competition of that kind, I think, is good because it's going to improve uh, Barkman. So my rating, well, uh, I haven't fully run it in, so I can't do a full test on its running, but uh, it's going to be 9 out of 10, though. It's uh, very nicely detailed. The livery is very nicely done. Uh, it's got a good weight, good underframe detailing, DCC compatible. What more could you ask for? And available now. I'm sure more liveries will be released in the future. The BR Blue version with the yellow uh, end panels, I believe, is practically sold out, so I'm sure there'll be, for instance, another release of that. That's bound to be popular. Uh, so snap one up if you can. Uh, the Dapol Class 26. Well, thanks for watching this video. There are going to be more. I'm sorry about the, the length of wait for this one. <laughs> There's lots in the pipeline. I've been doing um, other bits and pieces, which I might do a little on uh, what's been happening on the workbench, because I've been doing some painting of kits and um, weathering of older stock. Finished, for instance, my Class 158 in regional railways. I've finished fitting that completely with Schaffenbergs, both the power and the dummy, uh, and weathered the underframe and done some other bits and pieces. So I might do a little video on that if that's of interest to anyone. But until the next video, please take care. Thank you for watching this one, and I will see you soon.